Hello children, it's Mrs Wilding. This week we're looking at the life cycle of a frog and I hope you've had the opportunity to see the wonderful video that Mrs Ainsley has made of the life cycle of frogs which is telling you so much about their lives and, and how they develop. I thought I'd do something slightly different and what I thought we'd do is a couple of little craft activities for you. And the first one is going to be a little frog sitting in a pond. Now, with this, we're going to start off making the pond. And I think we'll use some blue and white paint to make the water. So, as I've done before, I've got my white paint here. I'm going to put a little spoon of that into my bowl. And I'm going to mix it with some blue paint. Okay, so I'll get my spoon of blue and put it together. So there's the blue paint going into the white. Now, instead of using a brush as I've done before, this time I'm just going to use an old kitchen sponge because this is a lovely quick way of painting. All I've done, I've got the blue and the white paint in the bowl and I'm just going to dab it and can you see it's beginning to mix it a little bit. And then to quickly make the pond and my water, can you see over here I'm just dabbing it all over this piece of paper to make the pond. And it doesn't matter how you do it because the water it's, it's, it's kind of shades of blue when you look at a pond. Sometimes it's a bit greeny and sometimes it looks a bit grey depending on, on the colour of the sky at night and the colour of the, the, the colour of the sky during the daytime. So the colour of the water looks different at different times of the day and with different weathers. But there you are, I very, very quickly painted, it's actually an old piece of wallpaper this that I'm using because I didn't have a big piece of paper at home. So, so I've used a bit of old wallpaper. And there we are. I've created, very roughly, I'm sure you could do it a lot better than I've done, but I'm trying to do it quickly for you. I just had it stuck on my, on my cloth. So there we are. There is our pond. And if you wanted to finish it, you could maybe put some green bits round round the edges and make it make it look as though it's part of our pond at school. So there's our pond. Now, I think Mrs Ainsley told you how big the frog's legs are. And they have very big feet as well, which are often webbed. And I thought, now how can I make the picture of the feet? And what I thought I would do, and I'll show you in a moment, as I did this a bit earlier, is I've made a couple of handprints. And I'll show you on what I've done earlier. I painted my hands green. I had another of these ones, which in the same way, I dipped in some green paint and then I covered all over my hands. So you've got to imagine that that is now covered in green paint. And what I did was I then put my hand down on the blue. You see it's a handprint. And there I've got I painted both hands and I've made handprints. And those hopefully are going to look a little bit like the frog's legs when we've finished. Now the next thing I had to do was to make the frog's face. I've used a round circle. Now you could use a paper plate or this circle was from actually a pizza which I which I'd had in the freezer and, and, and cooked yesterday. So so I've used the round circle. Now what colour do you think we could use? We've done green feet, so do you think we should have a green face as well? I think that's what we did. So what I do with my green one, get some green paints. The same as I've done as I did with the water, I can very quickly put a little bit of green paint in the bowl, just like that, and I can, here we are, put my 
my sponge, but you can use a paintbrush, whichever you want, whichever you want to use at that moment is absolutely fine. And then we dab it, or we brush it, all over. Can you see? That's covering that very, very quickly in green. There we are. And so we're gradually making a lovely, lovely green circle to be the frog's face. Almost there. Can you see that one? Oh, just the last little bit. Now I'm going to get very green painted hands in a moment. There we are. That's it. So one very, very big green circle for our frog's face. Now a frog needs two lovely big eyes. Now I've got, I think this was the pizza box that the circle came from. So I've got that and I just need to make some circles. Now here I've got just a little glass jar, but it could be anything that you want to draw around that's a circle shape. In fact, it could be the lid from my from my paint tins. So what I did was I hold that down and then with a pencil I draw all the way around the edge of the circle. Okay? So I've gone all the way round. Now how many eyes do you think a frog has got? Yes, like us, he's got one, two. So we need to draw two circles and then very very carefully probably need smaller scissors than they've got but we cut out the circles and i'm just going to do one at the moment just to be very quick just to show you but we need to do two of these so there's the first the first eye now in the center of the eye we have the pupil and I think what we need to do is paint this one black. So I've got my black paints. Oh, there's that lid. That lid was a bit tight there. Okay. And I need a nice paintbrush for this one. Because what I want to do, I'm just dipping it in the paint very quickly. I want to paint a nice circle. Here we are. So there's one. So we'll make two of those. And then we want to paint the, the little frog's mouth. Now this is still a little bit wet for Mrs. Wilding, but I think we can do it. So let's paint the little, the little, oh there's my little pussy cat coming to say hello. There's the nostril. We want to paint a lovely big mouth. Should we have a lovely big smile for our froggy's face? Oh, hello, puss. Can you just go to one side, kitty? Here we are. Should we do a lovely big smile on our froggy's face? That would do, wouldn't it? And then what we're going to do is put our big eyes on. One, two. I'll show you one that actually dried, I did earlier, which is now dry. Just to give you an idea, let me put my black pen down. This is one we had a, that I did earlier. And then what I actually did, I stuck a naughty, cheeky little tongue on the frog's face. Now, Remember we made the handprints at the beginning in the water? I bring that back to show you. Then we can put our little frog just sitting on top of the handprints. And we have our little frog sitting in the pond. There we are, sweethearts. Now, I've done a second one as well, so you've got you can make different ones with the, with the frogs. And this one, I actually used a paper plate because I managed to find one in one of my cupboards. And I started off, just to show you very quickly, I painted.
painted the whole of the plate in red paint. Looks a bit orange on the screen there, but it's a bright red paint. And then on the other side, when it was dry, turned it over and I painted all this side green. And then I very carefully folded it in half like that. Now I needed to make some eyes for this little frog. So again, I had a piece of card like this one and I just cut two, did two little shapes like that. Okay. And I made a little circle to go on as well because I painted this bit green like the rest of the frog. I'll show you what I did. So here we are, I painted those green and then I just stuck them on with some sellotape. Can you see that? And then this little frog can become our little ribbicky frog. Ribbick, 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 he says. So if you'd like to have a go at making a little frog, that would be wonderful. And the first one we made could even be a little frog mask. So you can do them in different ways. There are lots and lots of other ideas on the internet as well, which Mummy or Daddy might help you find. But those are a couple of very quick, simple ones which you can just use out of pieces of card from cereal packs or anything else that you've got to hand. Thank you for watching and have a lovely week looking at the life cycle of frogs. Bye bye for now.